Scene script. Have you ever thought about starting your own indoor garden? Imagine turning your living space into a lush, green oasis, filled with a variety of vibrant plants. That's the beauty of indoor gardening. It's more than just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. A lifestyle that's becoming increasingly popular, and for good reason. Indoor gardening is not just about adding a touch of nature to your interior decor. It's about creating a healthier, happier living environment. Plants are nature's air purifiers. They absorb harmful toxins from the air, improving the quality of the air we breathe. So by bringing plants indoors, we're essentially bringing in a bit of fresh air. But the benefits don't stop there. Indoor gardening can be a potent stress reliever. There's something incredibly therapeutic about tending to plants, watching them grow, and witnessing their life cycle. It's a gentle reminder of the simple yet profound rhythms of life. And let's not forget the sheer joy of growing your own plants. There's a unique sense of accomplishment that comes from nurturing a plant from seed to full bloom. It's an experience that's both humbling and empowering. Now you might be thinking, this sounds great but I don't have a green thumb. Well, here's the good news, you don't need one. Anyone can become a successful indoor gardener. It's all about learning the basics. And that's exactly what this video is all about. We'll guide you through the process, step by step, from choosing the right tools and plants, to understanding how to care for them. This video is your ticket to becoming a proud plant parent. Whether you're looking to add a bit of greenery to your home office, or you're dreaming of a full-blown indoor jungle, we've got you covered. Embarking on this green journey might just be one of the most rewarding decisions you'll ever make. Ready to get started? Before we dive in, there are a few tools you'll need to kickstart your indoor gardening journey. Firstly, pots. A variety of sizes is ideal, as different plants have different root depths. Look for pots with drainage holes to prevent waterlogged roots. Next, soil, specifically potting soil. It's lighter and airier than garden soil, providing the perfect environment for your indoor plants. The third tool is a watering can. A small one with a long spout allows precision and prevents overwatering. Fourth, a spray bottle. Many indoor plants come from humid environments, and a spray bottle helps replicate that. Lastly, a small shovel or trowel for moving the soil. This makes planting and repotting a breeze. Each of these tools plays a crucial role in the life of your indoor plants. They help create the ideal environment for growth and ensure your plants stay healthy and strong. With these tools at your disposal, you're already one step closer to becoming an expert indoor gardener. Now that you have your tools, it's time to choose your plants. But remember, not all plants are created equal. The first thing to consider when selecting your green companions is their light requirements. Some plants, like the sun-loving succulents, crave bright direct light. Others, like the peace lily, are content in low light conditions. So take a moment to assess the light availability in your space before heading to the nursery. Next, think about the size of the plants. You don't want to bring home a monsterer that's going to outgrow your living room in a matter of months. Be realistic about the space you have and choose plants that will fit comfortably, even as they grow. Maintenance is another critical factor. If you're just starting out, it might be best to opt for low-maintenance plants. The snake plant, for instance, is a hardy specimen that can tolerate a bit of neglect. Similarly, the spider plant is adaptable and easy to care for, making it a great choice for beginners. Another beginner-friendly option is the pothos. This plant is known for its beautiful trailing leaves and its ability to thrive in a variety of conditions. Plus, it's an excellent air purifier, making it not just a pretty face, but a functional addition to your indoor garden. Remember, the right plant can make your indoor gardening experience a breeze. You've got your tools, you've picked your plants, now it's time to get your hands dirty. Let's delve into the nitty-gritty of planting and caring for your new green companions. First up, we're filling our pot with soil. This isn't just any old dirt though. Make sure to use a good quality potting mix. It's specially designed to hold just the right amount of water and provide your plants with the essential nutrients they need. Next, it's time to introduce your plant to its new home. Gently place the plant in the center of the pot. You'll want to ensure that the top of the root ball is level with the rim of the pot. This gives your plant plenty of room to grow and breathe. Now, 
let's get to covering those roots with more soil. But remember, not too much. We don't want to suffocate our plant, just enough to comfortably cover the roots and provide a stable base for the plant. Moving on to care instructions, let's talk about watering. This can be a bit of a Goldilocks problem. Not too much, not too little, but just right. Most indoor plants prefer their soil to dry out completely between waterings. Overwatering is a common plant parent mistake, so when in doubt, less is more. As for sunlight, most indoor plants will thrive with indirect light. Direct sunlight can actually be too harsh for many plants, causing their leaves to scorch. Place your plants near a window with filtered light for the best results. Lastly, let's discuss the signs of a healthy plant. Vibrant green leaves are usually a good indication. Watch out for yellow or brown leaves, as these can be signs of distress. And remember, every plant is unique and may show its happiness or unhappiness in different ways. With these care instructions, your indoor garden will be thriving in no time. Congratulations, you've just taken your first steps into the world of indoor gardening. Today, we've dived deep into the green world right inside your home. We've explored the incredible benefits of indoor gardening, from purifying your air to boosting your mood, and even enhancing your home's aesthetics. We've also delved into the essential tools you'll need to become a successful indoor gardener. From a simple watering can to a good pair of pruning shears, each tool has its unique role in nurturing your indoor greenery. Then, we journeyed into the art of choosing the right plants. Whether you have a green thumb or not, there's a plant out there for everyone. Succulents for the forgetful waterers, snake plants for those lacking in natural light, or ferns for those who enjoy a bit of a challenge. Finally, we walked through basic care instructions, from watering schedules to pruning, and even spotting signs of a plant in distress. Remember, each plant is unique, and understanding their needs is key to a thriving indoor garden. But remember, this is just the beginning. The world of indoor gardening is vast and full of wonder. It's a journey of discovery, patience and growth. It's about forming a bond with nature, even within the confines of your home. Now go out there and start your indoor gardening journey. Don't forget to share your progress with us in the comments below and subscribe for more gardening tips and tricks.